scrub open. Incredible the way they move. Woo. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. Tonight's strategy isn't really so much about sticking to one particular part of the forest. It's all about anything we can find. A bit of a recce through the rainforest. That's a catydid. Catydids and crickets, closely related, but a cricket would have much shorter antennae. Let's see what else we can find. Wow, look at that snail. In the rainforest, you've got a whole host of different species of snails. And of course, they are actually detritivores. They're pretty much breaking down all the plant matter. Let's keep going. Woo! Wow. Brown tree snake. This is literally a brand newborn baby. They're a little bit venomous. So for the prey items they're eating, they're able to inject venom with their rear fangs. So there you go, the night tiger or the brown tree snake out hunting. I'm gonna let him go. Happy hunting. Snake. Woo! Wow. This is incredible. Black and white banding of one of the most characteristic nocturnal snakes here in Australia. It's, it's called the Bandy Bandy. You can see why it's called the Bandy Bandy. It's because of those black and white bands up and down that body. Wow. But you see when they're moving across the forest floor, it's kind of confusing, isn't it? Well, that actually is a way of basically deterring potential predators or attackers because it actually looks quite scary. Now the bandy bandy also is famous. What they do, they loop their bodies in a kind of vertical hoop fashion. And that is just thought to be a way of deterring potential predators because it kind of looks weird and scary. And it's almost like, why would you do that? The bandy bandy, yes. Look at this, we have two weevils on this leaf mating. <laughs> Characters. Two mating weevils. Woo! Hey, wow, I can't believe that. I almost missed a scrub python. This is the most common species of python out here. They get much bigger. The scrub python ends up becoming the largest snake in the whole of Australia, one of the largest giant snakes in the world, getting to up to over four meters in length. Every time I see a scrub python out in the wild, you, I just fall in love with them. And it's really hard to explain, but hopefully the beauty of this snake is coming across on camera. They've got this incredible sheen about them, this rainbow sheen. They spend a lot of their time up in the trees, but often they'll come down because there's lots of prey items, that, especially down along the forest floor that they'll be able to eat. They specialize in eating warm-blooded prey. They have heat-seeking pits in order to detect any warm-blooded prey coming along. Woo! He's just don't recognize us. Amazing. Look at that. Incredible the way they move. You can see how unbelievably strong they are. This is a tree snake. Tree snakes are incredibly dexterous. They can get from one branch to the other. I'm gonna pick him up. They got very long teeth. That curved back. Same, very similar to the carver python. And they use them in order to grip hold of their prey. They're constrictors, they're unbelievably powerful. The scrub python is probably one of the most powerful constrictor snakes in the world. But there's something really gentle about the scrub python. They're always so gentle and I really genuinely never feel like they're gonna bite. We're out here in the land of the python and venomous snakes. And one of those missions I wanna do is actually find every single python species here in Australia. Wouldn't it be cool to see every single one in the world? I'm not sure anybody's done that before and that would be epic. I really wish for this one the best of luck. But I must say this rainforest here just feels like the best place in the world to live. There'll be food everywhere for him. Scrub Python, yes.